Hey everyone, Sumar Studios 1990 here, and today this is my first salute of 2021. This is the this is the episode three of season one of my salutes. And yep, so that's from about to. So before I start the salute, to anyone who hates this show, I respect your opinion on it. So anyways, on with the salute. South Park. Wow, this show rocks. So this show involves about these four children named. Stan, Kyle, Cartman, and Kenny, and they like to go on awesome adventures together. Stan is awesome. And I bet if you ask him about what even is the... What is if the sun is a planet? And it turns out that the sun is a... And he'll tell you that the sun... He'll reply back to you with the sun is a star. Kyle is cool. And But he did get insulted for recalling a daywalker by Cartman. And one, and never call him a daywalker. He has red hair, and, but he does, and he has light skin, but no freckles. Eric Cartman is funny, and one rule with him: do not call him fat. He's big boned, and Kenny is is cool as well. Though the problem is that he keeps getting murdered in the whole show. So this show has been around since 1997. It's still going on to this day, actually. However. Recently, the show has the show is not going to be the same as as back then. You see, the reason how the show is not going to be the same as back then is because of what because of what's happening of this year, because what happened to twenty twenty one, and this is twenty twenty for South Park right here. Look, everyone's wearing face masks because of the twenty nineteen NCOV pandemic. Now, if you don't. If you want to know what happens, if you already have seen the episode, I'll tell you how it went like. So, I have watched, I have seen the episode, uh, it's, I have seen the special, it's really funny. So, the special goes like when, um, it's where Randy caused the 2019 NCOV pandemic in October of 2019. It was Mickey Mouse's fault for causing that. So it's not going to be the same until later on when the pandemic is over. And also during the time in two thousand in the nineteen ninety, it turns out that in in the nineties and two thousand two nineties two thousand two thousands and twenty tens, there were video games. The first video game, which was South Park for. For 1998, this is developed by this. So this game was, you know, here's Wikipedia to tell you what even is the video game about. So South Park is a first-person shooter that's based on the adult animated, the American adult animated sitcom that was developed of the same name, developed by Guan Entertainment, published by Acclaim 64. In North, in 1998, from in North America and Europe. Well, in 1999, in Europe. And for a reason, in, a year later, in 1999, it was ported to Microsoft Windows and PC, being developed by Appaloosa Entertainment, Appaloosa Interactive, in 1999, to coincide the film, South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. So, and speaking of that, there was also a Game Boy port that was going to be developed by Crawfish Interactive, However, it was eventually canceled. However, it got canceled. It was canceled due to Ma to South Park creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker stating that the Game Boy that the game would not be fitting on the Game Boy Color, as that the console was marketed towards children. However, they did keep a few copies of the Game Boy version, color version, to was what was originally started as the first South Park game, despite the Nintendo sixty four ports. However, and PS one. However, a Dreamcast version was planned for 2000. However, it was canceled during the development for unknown reasons. The results by by 2018, a Game Boy Color version was leaked online. Oh, and wait a minute, guys. And speaking of the top part, part where I said 1999, which was South Park bigger, longer, and uncut. There was a South Park movie called South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, which that movie was good. 
So you'd be wondering about why is the title called South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut? Well, it's a movie that is bigger but longer and also uncut from the... From both the... This show was released during the show's third season. This game, The South Park game was released in 1998 during the show's runtime. Then during in the later 90s and until 2000, there were other South Park games, like in 1999, there was also South Park Chef's Love Shack, Lo Love Shack, which is actually a 2D show-style party based on the American Adult sitcom, developed by Acclaim Studios Austin and published by Acclaim Entertainment. It was released on the Dreamcast, it was released in 1999 for the Dreamcast, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation, Sony PlayStation and Nintendo 64. So this game was like a direct clone of Mario Party. The game was released in October 12th, 1999 for Nintendo 64 in North America and October and on Halloween in Europe. The Dreamcast and micro, Microsoft Windows and PlayStation ports were released in 1999 in both North America and Europe. Yeah, and then later up came South Park Rally. It was a kart-style racing video game based on the American Adult cartoon of the same name. The game was developed by Tantalus Interactive and published by Acclaim again. The game was near the end of the third season of the show. Released on the Sony PlayStation, Microsoft Windows, Nintendo 64, and Dreamcast, this game includes many characters, vehicles, locations, items, and other features inspired by or featured on the series. This game was released on the Sony PlayStation back in two, January 5th, 2000 and in North America and February 4th, 2000 in Europe. PC versions were released on January 15th, 2000 in North America, February 4th, 2000 in Europe. Nintendo 64 versions were released on February 28th, 2000 in North America, March 3rd, 2000 in Europe. And the Dreamcast version released on June 30th, 2000 in North America and July 20th, 2000 in Europe. And so it turns out, all both of these three games, these games, like, well, except for this, and these games ended up turning to be bad, well, but to my opinion, they're good. I, in my opinion, they're good. Then later, later, and during, but after when, but after when, then later, like, here's what happens. Eight years later, there was no video games later on. They, 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 but in, during in the eight years, there was no South Park video games. And during through that, there were, later on after a South Park rally, people thought, was this the last South Park game? It turns out, no, it was not. However, there was a South Park game that was planned releasing in, two th in 2002. However, this game was... How, this game was planned releasing on the PS2 and original Xbox. However, this game was cancelled. The game got cancelled because of reputation of it being a Grand Theft Auto clone. Then 2008 came... But South Park returned back to making video games in 2008. So... I don't know the other games actually. I think it was like some type of battle, I don't know. I don't remember. However, during in the twenty tens, like like in the twenty tens there was another like in twenty thirteen South Park the Stick of Truth got released and it was originally released on, well, you'll have to follow me what The Stick of Truth even is about. So The Stick of Truth is an RPG, is a role-playing video game developed by Obsidian Entertainment in collaboration with South Park Digital Studios and published by Ubisoft in 2013, in 2014. The game was released on Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Which, you know, you play as the characters from South Park. The game follows a new kid who has moved to the to the town, South Park, in Colorado. Which is a fictional city, or, I don't know, a real city in Colorado. 
Becomes and becomes involved in an epic role play fantasy war involving humans, wizards, and elves who are fighting for control an all powerful stick of truth. And with brings them to conflict with Nazi zombies and gnomes threatening the entire town with destruction. So here's how the game went like. The game was released on the game first released on PC, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360, and on March 2014. On March of 2014. Well, in North America, it was released in North America on March 4th, 2014, Australia, March 6th, 2014, and Europe, March 7th, 2014. Then it got ported to, then, f four years later, it got ported to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, worldwide release on February 13th, 2018, and then got ported to Nintendo Switch on worldwide on September 25th, 2018. Yep. And with the recent South Park game known as called South Park, the fractured butthole. Dang thing won't load. Called South Park, the fractured butthole. If you don't know what this game is about, I'll tell you what it is. But first off, if you don't know about it, we're going to be heading on to Wikipedia about this. Or if you're if you're a huge South Park fan, I recommend buying this game on either which platform you play on. Okay, so when I was uh, in the fifth grade, uh, I just remembered, I just learned that Ubisoft announced a new South Park game on the current gen consoles, which is the PS4 and Xbox One. And I'll show you what the game and PC is. Oh, guys. So I think, guys, I ended up going on the Walmart page. Sorry about my phone is loading. A lot, guys. Sorry. I was on Wikipedia. I was gonna head on to Wikipedia. All right, there we go. Now it's loading. Okay, so South Park: The Fractured Butthole is a 2017 role-playing game developed by Ubisoft San Francisco and published by Ubisoft in collaboration with South Park Digital Studios. Just like this, it is the sequel to South Park: The Stick of Truth. So the game incurs, but it follows the new kid who has recently moved to South Park becomes an involved role epic role player. Two rival superhero factions vying to create their own superhero media franchise. The superheroes game unintentionally uncovers a conspiracy to raise crime in the town, bringing them to con into conflict with supervillains, genetically engineered monsters, the police, crime families, and the new kingpin of crime. Yes, and so this game was released on Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo, and Nintendo Switch. Well, the game came out on October 17th, 2017 on... PC, PS4, and Xbox One, and April 24th, 2018 on Nintendo Switch. Yep, so that's pretty much what South Park the Fracture But Hole is for most of the view. I, won't be, I also won't be talking about the mobile games in here, but... And for that, let me tell you what my favorite South Park character is. Well, my favorite character in South Park is Saddam Hussein. Yes, yeah, you hear it? My first, well, my first character in South Park is Saddam Hussein. Now, I love this guy. He's really, I love him. He's really funny. And I'll do his voice impression for you guys. Oh, come on, Satan. I love you. That's how Saddam talks like. In South Park, that's how he talks. And also for that... And for South Park, let me tell you, you wonder about, and however, this show got pulled off of Hulu because, well, Paramount might have, we don't know what, why it got removed on Hulu. So, the only place where you can watch it on is HBO Max, since HBO Max is the only streaming service where you can watch this show on right now. Yep.
And anyways, let me tell you about this show. The animation is awesome. The characters are cool. The voice acting is cool as well. And the humor is funny. I hope this show keeps running on the air. If you wonder about who likes this show, well, every South Park fan loves the show. And I don't know anyone who hates South Park, so I'm going to leave it be. Yeah, I'm going to leave it be right now. Yeah, so, South Park rocks. And so does the Boondocks. Yes, so does the Boondocks. King Star King sucks. End of rant. Or, sorry guys, end of salute. End of salute, guys.